Hi everyone, I'm Gemma Stafford, professional chef, host of Bigger Boulder Baking and the very proud ambassador for Good Cook. Previously on this channel, I've shown you how to make a peach and blueberry crisp, a giant pop tart, and even a 10 minute chocolate mousse. Right now, I'm gonna show you something that you probably think is impossible. I'm gonna show you how you can make waffles without a waffle iron. Intrigued? It's pretty crazy and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. The recipe can be found on goodcook.com along with all of the information about the Good Cook tools that I use. Okay, let's start out by making our waffle batter in a large bowl. Add in your flour, a little bit of sugar, baking powder, and of course, salt. And then just whisk these ingredients together. So if you wanted to make these waffles with a gluten-free all-purpose flour, that would work really well too. Okay, lovely, there's our dry ingredients. I'm just gonna put them over to the side and now we're going to mix up our wet ingredients. So in here, I'm going to add in some eggs, milk, a splash of vanilla extract because it adds good flavor, and then some lovely melted butter. And then just whisk them all together. So I used to have a breakfast catering business and I made my fair share of pancakes and waffles. Now here's a really great tip. When you start out making your recipe, melt the butter first so it has time to cool down. So then when you go to add it in, it's not too hot. You need your butter to blend in really well with the rest of the ingredients and it will do that if it's at room temperature. So remember that little trick, melt your butter first. Okay, this is looking good. Now we're gonna pour our wet ingredients into our dry. Then with the whisk, you just wanna mix it together until you form your batter. Lumps are totally okay. You do not want to over mix it so it stays nice and soft. Now, if you don't eat eggs, that's totally fine. You can replace the eggs in this recipe with flax eggs and that will work really well. Okay, like I said, this is done mixing. You only need a few stirs, get it all together. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna drop a little bit of knowledge on you. Once you combine liquid and baking powder, you have to use it straight away. Like you have to put it into the oven, get it into the tin, things like that, because it's actually starting to activate, starting to create bubbles and all those sorts of things. So what we want to do right now is get this into the tin. So here's the magic moment you've been waiting for. Here I have a Good Cook Sweet Creations waffle cake pan. Now this is how we're gonna make incredible waffles without an expensive waffle iron. This is a really fantastic little product. I love this because it's inexpensive and it also has a dual purpose. So you can make waffles in it and you can make cakes. Say if you wanted a waffle stack for a birthday party, it's really fantastic. All the information about this can be found on goodcook.com. Okay, so what you want to do now is just grease it lightly with some butter. This is non-stick, but I like to do a little bit of butter just to get it extra brown. Here's a really great tip that my mammy taught me. When you're baking and you have your wrappers of butter, save them and use them to grease pans. They've got the perfect amount of butter on them. Waste not, want not. Okay, lovely, now let's fill our wells with our waffle batter. Fill the wells with your batter around three quarters way full, and that'll make a nice size waffle. Now, for those of you out there who are wondering, I don't know if this is gonna make a waffle, just wait and see. You know what, I think I'm more excited for you than I am for me, because I can't wait for you to see how these turn out. Now it's time to pop them into the oven. You wanna bake your waffles off at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius for roughly 15 minutes. So it's been no time at all and my waffles are baked. Now this is the moment of truth, what you've been waiting for. Come here and check this out. Go in there and flip these guys over. Da -da -da -da. Look at that incredible waffle. And if I touch it, it's actually still really soft, which is what you want from your waffles. Without a doubt, this is a game changer right here, people. You, you're gonna want to get one of these. So now while they're still fresh out of the oven, nice and warm, I'm going to serve mine. Now this is bigger, bolder baking. We go big here. So I'm gonna stack three on top of each other, just like that. Then I'm gonna put some strawberries, a few blueberries, and then of course, maple syrup, which I am definitely not shy with. Fantastic, oh my gosh, these smell amazing. Okay, so now the moment of truth, let's see how these compare. I mean, seriously, I think I must be some sort of genius. These are absolutely divine. You know, just like out of a waffle iron, they are fluffy in the middle and crispy on the outside, which is exactly what you want from a waffle. I really hope you get a chance to try these because the results are amazing. For the recipe and lots more information about the tools that I used, go to goodcook.com. I'll see you back here really soon.